There's stuff here that I haven't driven before. There's the new Citroen C0, which nobody's so much has seen, let alone driven. Um, the Peugeot RCZ and um, the little Honda hybrid, which is absolutely fantastic. So for journalists, for fleet drivers, everything, it's absolutely fantastic event to be able to have access to these cars. I took the little Citroen around the track, which is great. Um, and it's a, just a fantastic opportunity to be able to drive these cars hard and fast, safely around a track and see that, you know, green cars need not necessarily be dull and boring. Far from it. The hydrogen is probably about an easy 10 years away um, if we really put our foot down in my B7. Um, in the meantime, we're going to have much, much more efficient internal combustion engines, which is great. But uh, short term, you're going to have cars like the Citroen C0 and the Mitsubishi Aimeev and the electric Mini, whatever form that turns out to be, running around on high streets. It's going to be, you know, the, 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 the thing to have. Um, the government needs to put more subsidies behind it. Um, but this is an exploding market. Uh, what, what we see and drive here now will be out in mainstream suburbia within the next three to four years. And the government, uh, the Lib Dems and the Conservatives both have a huge remit to have a low carbon economy and a green economy. So they will be pushing more efforts and more resources in to changing all this. So this really today is a crucible of, of, of what's going to happen. Green cars, um, eco motoring, whatever you want to call it, sustainable motoring is going to be massive. It's actually probably the most exciting time for the motor car since, what, the V12 engine.